So let's press on to part 2 of making a full animation and set about building the set and the characters. Let's head over to MovieZoo where you can see we've got a completely blank set. And I'm going to quickly go through the process of building something that we can use for this animation. Now the whole thing takes place on the city at night so I'm going to start by creating some objects. I'm going to search for the road that one right there and create it. I'm going to leave it in its default position. I am however going to turn down the saturation of these bright colours using the S for saturation slider on the HSV. Let's just elevate my viewpoint. Copy and paste that road piece with Control C and Control V. I just want to make it a slightly longer road than what we've got. And I also want to check that these roads are marked as can be stood on because characters will be walking on them. Great. Next thing I want to search for is a car. And we'll put this one. Now we're going to work with this camera shot as one of our first ones. So let's just tweak this. I tend to do things all in one go. It's not as it's not as distinct as make the set, then move on to something else. You tend to make stuff as you go along. Let's put the city car in as well. Frame that on the other side of the shot. Right there. Over here, in the spooky category, should find a fence with railings. Turn on snapping can get that aligned with the road and again copy and paste control C control V let's get this lined up build a nice long wall all the way along here now unlike John's video, I'm going to cheat here, I'm just going to stick in a backdrop for quickness. Let's create that right there. Rotate it. We've got snapping on so it should just snap to... And let's set the image in this. It's a night time sky so let's go to skies. And I quite like this one. No, this one. I'm going to illuminate it and also scale it up I think the scene would also benefit from having some trees in here we've got some bare trees and some spooky trees so let's drop one of these into the set hide that, might need to push that background back a little bit tree again, I'm going to take the saturation down a little okay I think I also need something to break up break up the shot at this side, right here so let's look for something else which has got an interesting silhouette, perhaps in nature there's another tree let's drop it down in there. So I'm building this set from the point of view of the camera. There's no point in building beyond what the camera can see because you're never going to see it and you're just going to waste time doing it unless you want something that casts shadows or what have you. Now looking back at the, uh, at the storyboard you can see that we've got a shot right here which is along the street so we better go and address that one in MovieZoo. So we're going to have a shot that just goes along this way. In fact, let's just create that camera right now. Again, we'll tighten it slightly so we don't see too much. It's probably going to sit roughly around there. We won't know until our characters are in place. 
So what I'd like to do is I'd like to put in maybe a backdrop just to block off that end of the street. Or in fact maybe put some buildings in, that would be a better idea. Let's go to city and drop in some ground floor buildings. There's one there. And I guess we can put a top on that as well. Just like that. And down the other side I think we'll just stick another backdrop. And we'll put onto this the same image that we've got already. In fact, you know what? We'll just put a colour on it. A really dark, desaturated blue. Illuminate it so it doesn't get affected by the lighting. And make it bigger. Basically just to block off that, that end of the world. Okay, some other things to see is I've still got a little bit of sky poking through up here and we can still see the ground. That will look a little bit odd once we come to film. So let's just edit the environment. Let's change the sky to have, a, we can use the colour dropper tool right here, a blue colour. And let's change the ground to have the same colour as, as the, the ground and the pavement. Oh, actually we should also start to think about the lighting here as well. It's night time, so let's turn the brightness right down and give it a blue tinge. In fact, let's just brighten that a little bit so we can see what we're doing. So I'm kind of working, um, you know, with all things at one time, a bit of set building, a bit of lighting, it all kind of comes together. Let's put in another light. Um, this time a spotlight. Just to kind of pretend that we've got a street lamp. We, and these things are normally kind of yellow colour. So let's just rotate that round. Uh, all the action is going to take place in this area. So we'll just widen that. As if we've got a street light going on. Okay, characters now. We've got a little, we've got a little sort of flashing thing going on here, which I'm going to try and fix. There we go. Right, characters. Let's get them made. Create a character. I'm just going to use the default. Uh, oh, actually, we're going to use a fat man for this. Oh, there's not enough room. I'll just pull back a little bit. There he goes. Now the characters are going to be ninjas, and we're going to start with the black ninja first of all, so we'll call him black ninja. That's an unfortunate camera, so let's hide the cameras out of the way. Right, now, so the black ninja, um, no hair, no ears, because he's got his suit on, and no nose, um, his eyes. He's a slightly annoyed individual, so we'll make his eyes angry and his eyebrows. I'm going to keep the eyebrows in because they're good for conveying expression. We'll look at that. Otherwise, I'm going to take the necktie off. I'm going to make him completely naked because I'm going to be uploading my own texture and take things off the. Uh, where are we? Arms and feet. Rather, shoes, none. Okay, so I've got a good template for what will eventually become three ninjas. Um, I'm as well copying and pasting and pasting at this stage. We'll call him the Red Ninja. And we'll call this other guy. Let's come out of that, make that a bit smaller. Let's call him the Yellow Ninja. And I'm going to give this guy some variation. So his face, change his eyes so that we don't um, we don't get mixed up, and we'll change his brows as well. Give him together a 
more quizzical look. Same goes for the yellow ninja. Let's change his eyes um, to these kind of ones and his brows. So just the normal. Okay, so what about their clothing? Well, as it turns out, I have um, painted my own custom texture and we used it in an earlier uh, tutorial, the one involving bringing in your own uh, custom textures. So I'm going to load that up and use it to, to colour in these guys. So let's go down to this first guy, Black Ninja. Go to Decals, Custom Texture and Import. And we should have blackninja.png. Let's bring that in. There we go. Um, this guy, Decals, Custom Texture, Import. We should be able to find Red Ninja right there. And finally this guy, decals, custom texture, import, yellow ninja. So that's the basics, the basis of our, of our characters. He shall be waiting over there. Let's um, bring up that camera window again to make sure we've got him in the right place. Yep, that will do it. Facing front, I've still got snapping on, I'll take that off. The red guy is going to start his walk off camera, probably around there. He's going to cross the road. And the yellow guy is going to, st is going to be over here. So that we can see him in this view, which we can't really. Let's push, let's push him back a little bit. Bring the yellow guy forward in prominence. And I can see that the light is probably not in the best place. Let's bring that over that way. Okay. That is everything that I think we need for part two, which is building the set and characters.